Channel 4 News, Dallas, Fort Worth. Channel 4 weather station and Paul Crane on sports. Your family and your country mourn your passing. We bid you goodbye. We will never forget you. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Here's the 6 o'clock report. America paid final tribute today to seven of its heroes, seven men and women who lost their lives in a tragedy that shocked and saddened the nation. President Reagan led the memorial service to Challenger's crew at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Clarice Tinsley was there, and she is standing by live to tell us about it. Clarice? Steve, President and Mrs. Reagan joined about 15,000 co-workers, friends, and relatives of the astronauts to share with the nation grief and sorrow over the death of the Challenger crew. They paid final respects to Challenger's brave explorers today. The memorial took place in a grassy quadrangle where NASA often honors astronauts home from successful missions. But today it was a mournful crowd, including U.S. congressmen who listened to the president praise the shuttle crew and comfort the family. Your loved ones have stirred the soul of our nation. And through the pain, our hearts have been opened to a profound truth. The future is not free. The story of all human progress is one of a struggle against all odds. Mr. Reagan told the mourners America will continue the conquest in space. He said that is the way we will commemorate our seven heroes. Then the Lackland Air Force Band played God Bless America, and four NASA training jets soared across the sky in the missing man formation as a final salute to the Challenger crew. Yes, it was an emotional service for the millions of people who watched it at home on television and for the thousands of NASA employees here at the Johnson Space Center. This was an intensely personal memorial service. It wasn't about an institution or a program. It was about seven people. We remember Ronald McNair, who said that he learned perseverance in the cotton fields of South Carolina. His dream was to live aboard the space station, performing experiments and playing his saxophone in the weightlessness of space. This was a day of wrenching emotions, remembering the warmth of the friendship of the seven astronauts, remembering the promise of a new world their mission would have brought. We remember Krista McCullough who captured the imagination of the entire nation, inspiring us with her pluck, her restless spirit of discovery, a teacher not just to her students, but to an entire people. The president's healing message was gratefully accepted by NASA employees who are deeply wounded by the deaths of their friends and co-workers. He said what needed to be said. He didn't make it political. He just put it the way all of us out here feel. These people were, were humans more than they were engineers and, and they're heroes also. And it makes it hurt more. If you could, what would you say to the families? That I wish them the best and they have to remember that it all was for a reason for, to improve ourselves. And I think they're all very proud even though it ended in disaster. I think they would do it again. The state of Texas grieves with the nation today. Our state is a vital part of the shuttle program and was home for Commander Dick Scobie and the Challenger crew. Ken Katz reports on Texas and Texans at today's moving ceremony. A national ceremony, a Texas funeral, a Houston memorial. It all began with an Air Force band from San Antonio. The band of the West from Lackland Air Force Base led a sad procession into the Space Center's mall. 
Senator Lloyd Benson was a leader of the congressional delegation that included former astronaut John Glenn, recent shuttle passenger Jay Garn, supporter Edward Kennedy. Dress blues met dark blues. Congressman Bill Nelson of Florida also flew in the shuttle. It was a tragic reunion of a glorious past. I pray that families and friends will remember our pride and our gratitude. Governor Mark White was on the front row with families of the astronauts. He sat with White House Chief of Staff Donald Reagan and exchanged condolences with President Reagan. He said Texas was an appropriate place to embrace the sorrow of the country. Texas has been in the forefront of, of exploring many frontiers, and this is just one more of those frontiers. Many former astronauts live in the Houston area and were here, like Deke Slayton, an original Mercury astronaut who advised the first shuttle mission. The payload specialist Sultan Saman of Sud came all the way back to Houston from Saudi Arabia. He now has bittersweet memories on his trips to Texas. I don't remember myself walking around in a suit in this place, but it's otherwise I've had better days. We all have better days. President Reagan has visited here before. His message today to grieving families and NASA employees, one of assurance and confidence. He promised support for the shuttle program that touches so many lives and jobs in Houston. Man will continue his conquest of space to reach out for new goals and ever greater achievements. That is the way we shall commemorate our seven Challenger heroes. On a day when the prayers of the world turned to Houston, the Cutter Dallas continued to sweep the coast of Florida looking for pieces of Challenger. Rockwell shuttle manager and Dallas native Bob Miner trying to help put those pieces together. Finally, appropriately, Texas Airmen from Ellington Field flew the ceremony's final tribute to the Challenger in T-38 trainers. The same planes its crew flew from Texas to Florida before their tragic space flight. Ken Caps, Channel 4 News at the Johnson Space Center. Steve and Suzanne, I'll be back later in this newscast. Therese, thank you. At the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, hundreds of people packed an auditorium to watch today's memorial service. Channel 4 Steve Dawson reports now from Cape Canaveral. At the Kennedy Space Center, NASA gave its 16,000 employees administrative leave to attend a broadcast of the memorial services taking place in Houston. But few employees attended. Most of the 500 seats in the Galaxy Auditorium were taken by tourists when NASA decided at the last minute to let them in. The people in the audience watched in tearful silence as the president spoke and afterwards had this reaction. We figured we'd come up here and everything would be normal, but, you know, in the last three days. Well, what can you do? I thought it was a tremendous service, very heart-rendering, and I think it expressed the feelings of all of us people that work here. The investigation has helped employees bury their sense of loss and hard work in long hours. But today's memorial service brings home the reality of the deaths of the seven crew members aboard the shuttle Challenger. And the employees here will mourn that loss in the weekend ahead. Steve Dawson, Channel 4 News at the Kennedy Space Center. Coming up next, Texans debate the virtues of the Civilians in Space program. And Delta offers a proposal to quickly settle its lawsuits. See the finger? It used to be a lot shorter when I had to dial 22 numbers to make a long-distance phone call. But now with MCI dial one long-distance service, I simply dial one, the area code and the number. Call anytime, anywhere, coast to coast, with the same great quality connections as AT&T. MCI just cost less. Fortunately, my finger grew back. Unfortunately, so did my size. When asked to choose a long-distance company for your home or business, choose MCI. Here's everything that's on sale for 5 to 40% off Saturday at Highland Superstores. Now watch real close and you'll see a Samuel stereo cassette deck with Dolby for just $44. Did you see it? You'll also see a 14-day programmable VHS video recorder with wireless remote for just $258. There. This is everything that's on sale for 5 to 40% off Saturday at Highland. And now, here's everything that's not on sale. So if you get the idea that everything's on sale Saturday at Highland, you get the idea. Hey, OJ, how do I look? That's not the way you dress when you're in a T-bird, Arnie. Here, try this on. Hmm, that does feel better. Now you can rent a Thunderbird from Hertz for only $38.90 a day. Boy, Artie, this is living. You said it, OJ. Life in the fast lane. The glitter, 
Many people here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area took time out today to watch the memorial service. Some in their homes, others in department stores and offices. There were also school children who watched with special interest, as Channel 4's Barbara White reports. Students at Townley Elementary School had hoped to be watching televised lessons from space this week. Instead, they've been taught about tragedy. Today's memorial service in Houston, a page in history they viewed along with millions of other Americans. It was just kind of the final chapter, you know, just adding the last goodbye. Did you ever want to be an astronaut? Well, once I did when I was six years old. Six. I don't want to now because it, it, it terrified me when it happened. I want to be an astronaut when I grow up, and I want to see how things go now so I know what it'll be like when I grow up. While the students identify more with school teacher Krista McCullough, each will remember the week's events and the seven heroes for different reasons. She was a, a real pretty lady and she was real nice and she had good, she was really brave to go with this. Because they're special people and they, they had the courage to go up and help space technology. It kind of touches everybody's heart. Well, it's just hard to not feel sad when everybody else is. It's hard to imagine just how much these 9 and 10 year olds understand about what happened this week. But one thing is certain, today they felt a loss and shared the sorrow with millions of other Americans across the country. Barbara White, Channel 4 News, Irving. The Challenger catastrophe has raised serious questions about the wisdom of putting civilians like teacher Krista McAuliffe on future space missions. Critics argue the missions are too risky. But supporters say the Citizen and Space program is a crucial part of making space travel accessible to all Americans. Tonight on Speak Out, your opinions about sending civilians into space. Tuesday, the nation lost seven heroes. One of them, 37-year-old New Hampshire school teacher and mother of two, Krista McAuliffe, America's first citizen in space. But despite the grief, many are looking ahead, questioning whether citizens should be allowed to participate in dangerous space missions, even if they understand, as McAuliffe did, the incredible risks. Speak Out is at Six Flags Mall in Arlington, asking folks if we should stop sending civilians into space. The whole idea of the space program is that we can eventually travel into space and it'd be for everybody, not just for special trained people. You know, I mean, it's a tragedy, true, but... You know, that's one of the problems of new programs. Yeah, I think they should be part of it, uh, but only under the understanding that they're properly briefed as to the danger involved, to the mission, and, uh, and to the fact that uh, these are important missions, and if the person isn't qualified to perform the experiments to make it a profitable enterprise, then, then maybe we should reconsider the fact that they are going along. It brings it a little bit closer to the normal American public for civilians to be able to do that. I would be very surprised if uh, someone would get in that situation not realizing the risks. And uh, I think if they volunteer to do it, they ought to be allowed to do it. The teacher wanted to go. And I think they're making too much. She was, she was, a, a, you know, a good person from what they're saying, but the astronauts were too. They need to uh, bring them all, talk about them all the same. Yep, civilians should go. I would go. Lynn Easton, Channel 4 News, Arlington. In other news this day, Delta Airlines offered a proposal in court today that could speed up the settlement of claims from the crash of Flight 191. During a pretrial hearing in Fort Worth, Delta attorneys said the airline is willing to accept liability on a case-by-case -case basis. In exchange, plaintiffs would give up any claims to punitive damages. Plaintiffs' attorneys say the proposal would minimize Delta's losses. It doesn't really comment to me about uh, the humanity of Delta. Uh, I think this is purely an economic decision. Uh, it's made as a business decision. It's made on that kind of a basis. Uh, Delta is as humane as the companies come, and, they're, and in many respects, they're pretty darn good along those lines. But uh, this decision today, I feel, I wasn't part of it, but I feel very confident that it's purely an economic business decision. And Turley says Delta's proposal could mean all claims could be settled in a few months instead of a few years. The Delta crash killed 137 people. Fifty-two lawsuits have been filed so far. It's estimated Delta will eventually pay $200 million in damages. The winds of change have already affected our weather. James, what's the situation outside? Well, Suzanne, it looks like we're going to miss our all-time record as far as dry spells are concerned by seven days. Looks like we'll go 52 without rain and then some changes. The tails are next.
you got to remodel. But you're waiting for that really big sale, right? Like the one in this Payless Cashway Circular, store-wide with low once-a-year kind of savings? Like great buys on kitchen cabinets, on countertops, plus free delivery on kitchen cabinet sets, free estimates too, plus savings on Owens Corning Attic Blanket, just $8.88 a roll. Well, the home remodeling sale starts Sunday at Payless Cashways. Relax, yours is in your Sunday paper. Pay less cash ways. The final sale just got better as home furniture goes out of business with bigger buys on their hottest items. Choose your new sofa for an unmatchable $3.99 now at home furniture. Or take home this five-piece dinette and irresistible buy at just $2.99. Relax with Sealy, Sealy Posturepedic, or King Goyle's Wenset. Sale price from $98. You save up to 65% at home furniture. But hurry, when this sale ends, home furniture will be gone. Shop today in Dallas, Irving, Arlington, Fort Worth, Sherman, and Waco. That chili you had for dinner has just started a three-alarm fire inside you. Alka-Seltzer to the rescue. Alka-Seltzer goes to work instantly to take the burn out of your heartburn and also quiet the sirens in your head. So when your body is sending you smoke signals, send Alka-Seltzer to the rescue and put out the fire fast. Alka-Seltzer to the rescue. Nissan cars. Nissan trucks cost less in Arlington at Arlington Nissan. Arlington Nissan Sentras and standard pickups only $149 a month with only $600 down plus tax and license. Arlington Nissan now has a great selection of Nissan trucks for on the road or off. Two buys, four buys, long beds and king cabs. Arlington Nissan has them and plenty of them. Now's the time to buy. Now's the time to save at Arlington Nissan. I-20 in Collins, South Arlington. If your life's mo like most folks, you probably won't believe this rainy forecast we have until the water actually starts falling from the sky, since it has been 51 days since we've had measurable rain, but it sure looks like we'll have a pretty good crack at getting some late Saturday night and Sunday. Here's the current national satellite view with some current temperatures up on the board, and you can see clouds covering much of the west coast. Pretty good upper air, low pressure system moving our way, and as it gets into the Texas area late tomorrow night, with all the moisture we have in place now, Looks like showers and thunder showers are a fairly good bet, especially for the central and western part of the state. East Texas on back across the Mississippi Valley will probably have to wait until the first part of next week for their good chance of rain. Temperatures looking spring-like this afternoon, mostly 60s and 70s up on the board. There's one 80-degree reading down at Laredo right now. 72 at Austin, 71 degrees at San Antonio. There's 71 at Houston, 62 back at Little Rock, and 70 at DFW Airport at this hour. The humidity is 59%, the pressure rising from last hour, 30 inches of mercury even, and winds out of the south at 14 miles an hour. 72 the high today, and by the way, that's almost 15 degrees above normal for the end of January. It was 51 degrees this morning, again, of course, no rain today, and pollen was about the same as yesterday with the combination of mountain cedar, fungus, and grass and wheat. Here's the national forecast as we start the weekend. Uh, low pressure trough developing across the southern Rockies, but mainly that is an upper air storm. As it moves across the moisture, West Texas could see some rain tomorrow, but it looks like we'll have to wait until Saturday night or Sunday. Meanwhile, some cold air across the northern tier of states, but it looks like that will not get as far south as northern Texas, as temperatures should remain above normal for the next several days. Meanwhile, some snow and rain likely for the northeastern states, and more rain on tap for the Pacific Northwest. Here's the forecast. Breezy and mild tonight. The overnight low near 60 degrees with south winds continuing. Saturday, like today, should be a cloudy and warm afternoon with south winds and a high of 75 degrees. On the humid side also. Five-day forecast. Boy, I talked about feast or famine. Uh, chances for rain on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday after 51 days with no rain. Temperatures mostly in the 60s during the day and mostly in the 50s at night. Tell you what, Suzanne, this is getting to be some good merchandise here uh, instead of your standard <laughs> T-shirt. in handy. Yeah, I was at Stone Middle School in Dallas today, and they gave me this nice jacket. They were a great group of youngsters, and they knew a lot about the weather, and I want to say thanks. James, does this mean you've become an honorary bulldog? I think it does. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh -huh. You must have a big closet. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's getting bigger. <laughs> As city and fire officials push for a smoke detector ordinance, Dallas fires continue to take a human toll in homes without operating smoke alarms. Early this morning, a three-year-old boy died in a house fire in southeast Dallas. His six-year-old sister is in critical condition with third-degree burns over 90% of her body. The father who tried to rescue the children is in serious condition with second and third-degree burns. 
The fire was started by an unattended uh, candle in the children's bedroom, and the house did not have a smoke detector. The sports. Are the Mavericks settled down, ready to play some ball? I, I think so. They've been playing ball. We've just uh, been sidetracked by a few other things. Hank Mark McGuire, Dick Montefiude, gone until at least February. We'll check that out. And see quarterback Danny White in a new role where he does not call the signals. Memorex brings you a slight exaggeration. Most floppy disk edges are sealed just here and there but not Memorex. We seal every inch of every edge with solid seam bonding. So a Memorex edge fights bulges, puckers, warps. Because of all that jammed your disk drive, you can lose all your data. And that's no exaggeration. Memorex has the edge. You get so much for your money in your old creek phone. You do get so much in your Oak Creek home at a price that is so reasonable. Outstanding quality and value that only Oak Creek brings you at such an affordable price. Visit our model village and see how easy it is to get the kind of home you've always wanted with a price and payment you can afford today. Visit the model village and take the factory tour north of Fort Worth or south of Fort Worth in Burleson. Avanti first are great. Ooh, Raphael, I think I'm in love. Look at that mink. And fox. And that luxurious chinchilla. And it's not only Texas, but the whole world who comes to Avanti for fashion, quality, selection, and value. Avanti knows what makes life better. The best. You deserve an Avanti for one of the best things in life. Now's the time to buy a new GMC truck. GMAC announces a new low financing rate. Take advantage of GMAC 7.9% financing on GMC two or four wheel drive half ton full size pickup trucks or selected S15 two wheel drive pickup trucks. You can save hundreds of dollars in finance charges. Remember, now's the time to buy a GMC truck. 7.9% financing. Don't miss it. Hurry to your Silver Star GMC truck dealers. Parkway GMC, James Wood, Fred Taylor, Bob GMC, and Bill McDavid. The Mavericks will try to get back to business tonight against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The team has won three games in a row, but we wouldn't know it watching the Mark Aguirre, Dick Mata soap opera. The actors in that say the series has been canceled. Aguirre's popping off after the last game, just an emotional outburst after not making the All-Star team. Didn't mind telling people that I was upset because I didn't make it. Um, because, like I said, there are a lot of people in Dallas, and um, they've been supporting me very well. And uh, it kind of upsets me that in the city of Dallas and their number one pick um, a few years ago and it's not on the team. They kind of listen to me feel like I let them down. You know, it kind of feels like I'm, I'm, I'm not playing up to the ability in which I could. You know, and when you get all those things in the back of your mind, you kind of you know, get up to it. You know. The sixth annual Dallas Times Herald track meet tomorrow night. We could be in for all sorts of world records. Pole vaulter Billy Olson, who is in Toronto tonight, will try to better his own indoor record. And Eamon Coughlin says he'll go for revenge against rival Doug Padilla and a world record in the two-mile run. So I'd like to come here and make sure I beat Doug. But I think we've also got a good shot at breaking the world two-mile record because nobody has really gone after it and made a serious attempt at the record in a number of years. And I think the time is now right for that. Another race which could see a record fall will be the men's 60-yard dash. Third from the left is record holder Carl Lewis, who's back again. And next to him is Harvey Glantz, who was an Olympian in 1976, wants to go again in 88, and needs to do well in Dallas. You feel it's just loaded. I mean, we, we're talking about probably um, nine out of ten of the fastest 60-yard dash runners in the country, and they'll all be here. So I really do look forward to the competition. The competition at the Quaker State Open Bowling Tournament at the Forum Lanes in Grand Prairie heating up. Some of the big names at the top, Marshall Holman, Wayne Webb, Mark Roth, the first three, Fort Worth, Norm Duke in eighth place in the final five who survived tonight. We'll play for the big money tomorrow. Tonight at 8 o'clock at the Fair Park Music Hall, the Dallas Symphony Orchestra gets a guest appearance from Cowboy quarterback Danny White. White will read the ballad of Tank O'Hara, what's being called a football version of Casey at the Bat. Standing in front of a crowd of 60,000 facing Lawrence Taylor and the Giants is one thing for the nervous system. This is something else. Oh, yeah, this, this is a lot different. This is, this is along the lines of giving a, giving a talk at church or, or anything where you have to stand up in front of people and, 
Uh, where they can see your face. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I could walk out there with a helmet on, but I don't think they're going to let me do it. Doesn't need a helmet. Nobody's going to be throwing anything. I'm sure. All right. Thanks, Paul. Still to come tonight, we'll check back with Clarice in Houston. And a look back at how triumph can come out of tragedy. Have you driven a Ford? Now you can get 7.9 plus at your Ford dealer. 7.9% annual percentage rate financing on new 85 and 86 V6 Thunderbirds. New Ford Tempos and new 4 and 5 speed manual transmission Ford Escort. Plus Ford's new 3 year unlimited mileage powertrain warranty on all 86 Ford cars. Plus 7.9% financing on new 4x2 Ranger and F-150 pickup. Get 7.9% plus at your Dallas Metro Ford dealer today. If you want to save one half or more on a beautiful fur, you'd better hurry. Because Coslow's January 1st sale ends Saturday. Even while you're just sitting there, your home is probably becoming more and more valuable. That's why Metropolitan offers an option on homeowners insurance that automatically increases your coverage to keep pace with rising home values. So you can relax with the knowledge that you're always fully protected, and you'll get a fair settlement from Metropolitan. Get met. It pays. Tonight, Angelo's hijack scheme backfires while Chase and Richard plot revenge against her together. And together. Or hang separately. On Falcon Crest. Then on Channel 4 News at 10, credit cards. They're relatively easy to get, even easier to use. We owe $20,000, and yes, it's hard for me to believe that we have actually spent that much money. Channel 4's Sue Keenan looks at credit card shock and what can be done to ease the pain in this special report. Falcon Crest at 9, followed by Channel 4 News at 10. Now we'll go back to Clarice in Houston for a look at what's coming up at 10 o'clock. Clarice? Ken Caps will take a look at the future of the space shuttle and the future of Houston, home of the space program. And I'll have a report on the aftermath of Tuesday's tragedy and the hope for a new beginning. That's tonight at 10. Okay, thank you. As Texans, we've known tragedy and we've learned what we can make out of it. From defeat at the Alamo, we built a republic. But at a time of mourning, we think little of the opportunity for triumph. Tonight, we leave you with this report from Ron Sanders on the challenge of the challenger. There are moments, moments when a nation pauses, days of anguish. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. They are, however, only moments. Moments when a nation pauses before moving ahead. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal... Camelot fell to the drum roll of memorial, but the vision did not. We reach to the stars, we escape gravity, challenge the emptiness of space, we circled Earth. But tragedy stopped us again for a moment. Three deaths on a launch pad. Born of fire, Apollo went forward. We reached for the moon, we studied it, then touched it. Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We dared go on to make space ours. We dared, we succeeded, until tragedy gave us pause again. The challenge of the challenger, that we remember. Moments of tragedy are just moments, followed by triumph.